Good morning, guys. And uh, my name is Yan Zhao, and I'm a, a hardware engineer at uh, Facebook. A little bit more this way. A little more that? Okay. The video isn't on the projector. Okay, got it. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm the guy doing the server design at uh, Facebook. And uh, today I'm going to talk about our next generation one socket server platform. It's a, a, a multi node platform. So, in a, the system view is like it's very simple. You know, we're going to, uh, from the previous generation, this generation, we're going to try to make the platform more flexible. And uh, we're going to talk about the one socket server you know, with uh, uh, a Intel next gen Xeon processor D. And the open rag are way too compatible, but we changed the form factor from 2 OU to of of 4 OU. I will tell you more about why we make this change. And also we can support a so flexible, right? We can support like a four one socket server cars, or maybe like a two one socket one socket server cars with a two device cars. And I, I get to that more. And uh, also this we only have a single smart uh, baseboard to handle all the different uh, com uh, com configura configurations. So in the, uh, which means in a, we don't like a, uh, we do not oh what the heck going on <laughs> back and forth, and uh, yeah and uh, we don't need really to reconfigure the device oh shit I do not sorry about that <laughs> I oh yeah there there we go yeah so in a, we do not need to use something like a, in a, you have people to to go there and and manually reconfigure the system so it's not the case we 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 want to go and the plus on the next side we still use a multi host uh, and network need cars. But this time we uh, bump up the PCI link from every uh, server to the front side from by two to a uh, uh, by four. So that's uh, make the 100G uh, uh, multi host uh, uh, thing available now. So anyway, that's another good thing to have. So that's the uh, that's the view, right? So on the on the top right side, that's our we call the we copy. It's a four U, and uh, we can have a four a slide in the one a we copy rack. Uh, one we can be a chassis. The thing we changed it from the we uh, previously we load the car from the side, but now we change the thing we load the car from the top, and uh, this is going to improve the serviceability a lot. And there's another uh, a reason we are doing this because we need to support the hard uh, service. I get to that uh, later. There's a lot of uh, uh, very, very a lot of good information about that. So on the bottom side, the picture show like slide one, two, three, four. There's a nick on the front side, power from the back side, 12 watt. And it's a very simple uh, a design. And uh, the by flexible, we, we can, you can have a four one socket server plug into one, two, three, four. Or you can plug the one socket server car to the two and a four. And uh, a while you can keep the device cards. And then you can use the device card, a PCI device card on the slot of one and the three there. So how do we do it? So there's some more uh, details about this thing, right? So in uh, the NIC car, the uh, baseball, and we have BMC in the middle. The, the P, uh, now we have a TPM for the BMC itself, and uh, we can support more uh, security stuff. We can now know that's important now. <laughs> and there's a fan tree connector, and uh, we have two fans on the back side. That's two. And you may uh, uh, notice in, on the uh, Yosemite platform, we only have one single uh, uh, one socket server PCIe connector there just to support one of the amolic cars. But on this platform, we support two of the, uh, the primary and the extension uh, connectors here. The trick we play with on the slot one and the slot two, they, they are a pair. So which means uh, you can plug the two server card there, or you can plug the server card on the back side, um, on the back side here, on the, on the slot two, on the slot two, then plug the device cards on the uh, slot one. There's a conflict there, right? So you know, if uh, we we we, uh, we dedicated the uh, uh, just give me one second. I, I got a card to show you more details. So you know, this is our primary uh, connector. We have a PCIe uh, a by four link zero one two, and then previously we have the uh, another three uh, by four link like a four uh, uh, three four five. Yes, three, four, five. We have totally six by four link. But with this new generation, we turn another KR4 link, KR4 link to another by four PCIe uh, link. So now we have a seven PCIe, uh, seven by four PCIe link because we feel uh, PCIe link is more uh, usable and uh, useful than the KR4. So that's why we make that change. So on this new platform, you're gonna see zero, one, two. Three, four, five, six, totally seven by four PCIe link. 
we dedicated the PCIe uh, link zero to the NIC, so that's uh, to, uh, to the NIC. And then we're connecting everything else from like the link here. Uh, the, uh, you think about it, you, you plug this card into the slot two, then this guy, the, the PCI link is from here to the uh, slot one. And uh, so you, you say you have the, a device card you want to TX to uh, RX. And w what about you plugging another one socket server card? You're gonna be facing TS to a TS kind of thing. The trick we play is on the set, on the a bit a bit for a, a design. We connecting the TX on this side to RX on the on the another a, a, a slot. So which means you will never run into like a TS to a, a TX kind of thing. So they, and they will never ever drive the same a signal at the same time. That's the trick we play with. So you may think we may have a PCIe. Uh, um, a switch there that can make the thing much uh, better. But as I think the, tri the trick is like it's very expensive. Also, it's like consuming a lot of power. Plus, I don't have space for those things. So that's why we end up with a, a very s a simple approach and uh, without any PCI switch on this one to, uh, to, to do that. And also, you may notice interesting, and uh, we have a VGA a connector on the front side. So because uh, we heard the, the feedback from the uh, community, people say you know, we need a, a monitor, we need the, the a monitor to be plugged in there, people want to see the GUI interface. So in that case, we, on this generation, we're going to support that. So in the plus, and also the OCP debug card, the USB, all, all those things are still there. So that's, uh, that's the uh, details. So a block diagram, so this is like a one of the configuration. We have a four one socket server in the one slide. So lot two, one, one, two, three, four, and then we have the OCP amazing card, and 50G or 100G, uh, multi-host NIC, and uh, the, the BMC there to manage all the servers also have the sideband from the NIC, so you can do the OOB uh, management. And the hotspot controller is still there and, uh, to get the power from the rack and get the uh, get 12 watt to the host uh, platform. On this new platform, we're gonna support up to 600 watts, but that's uh, pretty hard uh, to, to do, right? then we have to cool the systems uh, from, from there. So we can talk about those things more and I'll give you a view from the, the REC uh, perspective uh, later. So that's a, a change again. <laughs> so, but here, there's another uh, configuration. So we, we said we can plug in the device card on the, on the, on the slot one and the slot three there, right? That's, a, that's one of the po a possible configuration. You still have the one socket server on slot two and slot four, but on slot one, slot three, you can plug in, uh, we call it a glitch point, which is a AVA like card. We have six M.2 drive, and every one of the M.2 drive take by four PCI link from the server. So from the server perspective, he can use another extra six a, a, a high, high performance M.2 drive on the glacier, a, a, a glacier point cards. So you know, that's a, a, be a benefit for some uh, services, you need a lot of like a really a super uh, a fast uh, a storage, uh, like I'm that too. I don't know which key I pl pl uh, pushed, but it keep on doing that. Oh, see, I need to go, go back, yeah. So that's, a, that's a one car. So in the, that's, for that car, glacier point, we had to design the car by ourselves because we had to use a one socket server form a factor to do that. But you think about it, you have, there are so many possible PCA cards. Can, you, can I use uh, those cards? Because I don't want to spend time to writing a new card. Yes, and you can definitely do it. So we did another card we call the current of a flight, which is a by 16, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a PCIe carrier card. So which means you can use, uh, you can use the normal uh, full height and uh, half length standard by 16 PCIe card here. So that's uh, open up a lot of good uh, opportunities. You can plug in any, and basically almost a lot of like a standard PCI card there, like a uh, HBA card, a, a, a read card, a retimer cards, GPU cards, IPE card, whatsoever. And that's it can save you a lot of time to do, to, uh, to just don't do your own card for this one socket server form factor, but only use the, the, the card from the, the one that has been validated thoroughly. So it can save a lot of time there. So I will show you more a picture in the, the architecture for those two a glacier point and a current a flat a later. Uh, so and that's something new is we call the hot a service. Why we are doing this? Because you see that we have a four one socket server in the one slide, which means if whenever there's any one of the server fails, you have to take the whole slide out and do the repair. 
So which means your failure domain increase from one server to four, and which is a bad thing. So you want to keep the power going whenever you try to repair one of the failed server, but keep other three a good guys keep on going doing their, doing, uh, their job. So to do that, so you have to provide the, like continuous 12 volt to all the a slide, but you have to put it out, then they can have the chance to, to move the car from the, the slots, right? So you know, what we are doing here, you can see on the top right, so there's a, we call the power bar PCB. That bar is a very simple uh, function. It's only getting 12 watt from the, uh, at the back of the, the rack. Then we can distribute the power from the back to the front side. On, on, the, on the slide side, we design something called a, a, a brush. I can give you a, one example, and I can show you. So see here. That's the e brush itself. So whenever you put this on the power bar PCB, you can slide it in and out. So which means that can give you the continuous power. Another good thing about this is like when you fully pl plug in, you don't need to consume the power on the, the a power bar because the current didn't go that way. Didn't go all the way to the front and going back. It's, it's always coming out from here, from the power bar PCB getting here, then coming here. So that's a good thing, because if you use a, a cable a, approach, you, it, it, we always consuming power on that cable itself, because it doesn't matter what, you still need to deliver the power, it's on the path. So that's the thing, that's a very cool thing of VBDU, and that's gonna keep you the continu continuous of power, it doesn't matter where you plug in, in here and there. <coughs> but definitely, there's some uh, challenges about this uh, hard a service, and uh, why we name it as hot a service, not really hot swap, hot plug, because when we're talking about hot plug, hot uh, swap, there's a chance that people maybe just yank the car out when the power's still there, that could damage the thing. We, did, we didn't uh, uh, already design our system to that kind of uh, degree, because that need a lot of, uh, of production, not only on the power, all the, all the uh, uh, I.O. interface. So you know, what we did, like, uh, we, we have to uh, let the, the, the user uh, people to shut down the power to the uh, a slot before you can take the car out. And uh, so that's why we, 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 uh, uh, we, it's not really only the hardware thing, but also need uh, the uh, uh, service in place. Whenever you're doing the uh, repair in the data center, you have to turn off the power, there's uh, some lights going on, you can tell them people, you have, then it's safe to take out the car out and put a, a, a new one in. So and also we design a latch. The latch is whenever you try to open the latch, because you take off the car, you have to open the, the latch. Whenever you people open the latch, if we sense the power is still there, we're gonna shut down the power. So there's a chance to damage the car, it's very small in that case. So we did a lot, couple of layers, let the people want to handle this, need to see there's a power already still on, you don't touch it. And it's off, you can touch it. And also like when you're doing the, the handle thing, we're gonna shut down the power automatically. And so, which means you don't have a chance, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so that's a, a hard a, a, a service, and hopefully by doing this, we can get the failure domain down to one, and just like uh, uh, the normal server does. So, you know, we we have a, a, a we, we're gonna try it because we already built the system. We tried it so far, so far so good. So, and uh, also on the one socket server side, we, uh, we, ha we have to redefine the GPIO pins. And on the one socket server, uh, a spec, we define the four GPIO pins. And uh, you have the flexibility to define your own. And this here is a, a minute uh, definition for the GPIOs. GPIO zero is car tap, which means in a while, because the BMC is the guy who knows the configuration. He needs to configure all the, all the buffers, the switches on the side plan because we, can, we cannot like, play a trick on the a, a baseball to draw the trace uh, from one side to an, another, and there's a lot of PPCIE clock, PPCIE uh, recess signal. All of them together, they need to be uh, managed by the PCIe, uh, by the BMC itself, because we do not want to run into the, the thing like two of the guys try to drive the same thing at the uh, same time. So then we define the GPL pin as a car type, and when you uh, drive to GND, a zero award level, it's, it means I, I'm a one socket a server, BMC knew about it. <laughs> then if you're driving 1.2, it's a PCI a device card, PCI device carrier card, and here we mean it's a, a, a Korean flag card. And if you drive to 1.7, which means that you're a customized PCI card in the one socket server form of factor, which means like a, the glitcher point card and a, a glitcher point card or something else. 
So the GPL one, because you have now you have the pair, right? So in the CPU card, in the, the one socket server card, or one device card, CPU. Uh, uh, I mean, one socket server card on the slot two, and then the device card on the slot one. So whenever you want to power down the server, you want to to, to bring the device card uh, uh, with you together. So that's the signal it to to for the two cards to sync up on the to sync on the. A power side. When you power down the one socket server, the one socket server is going to generate a one signal and to the device card, say, hey, it's time to shut down the power. And when coming back, this guy go tell the device card, hey, it's time to, to get up to work. So that's the case. And the GPIO2 is an ejector, ejector latch a de a detection. So in which means that whenever you try to open up the, the latch, you don't shut down the power. And uh, I'm, I'm BMC, I'm seeing that. That's a bad thing to happen, right? I'm going to shut down the power to the whole a slide. It's a 12 watt, so which means I'm gonna shut down the power. Then you have no chance to damage all the all the GP, all the uh, I/O interface, also the power itself. But we do have a hot swap controller on the. We do have a hot swap controller for every a slot here. So which means the power is protected. You're not going to damage the power. Whenever you yank a car out from the slot, you plug something in. Whenever the power is there, so the chance is very small. It's, I mean. It's a hotspot controller that to do that job. The thing we didn't do the production is on the G, on the I/O side, like the PCI interface, GPIO, and all those stuff. Because if you want to product them all, you need to add a lot of buffers, and I, I don't have the a luxury to put the, the production there too. So that's that's why we designed this, a couple of layers to product the, the thing when we do the hot uh, service. And the GPIO three is the same signal we use on the current uh, generation. It's a, a, a a reset BMC, which means there may be some really rare case the BMC died, and you, but your uh, server is still on. In this case, you want to uh, reboot your BMC. You can do it from every one of the single server in the from the because you can toggle the GPL pin to toggle the G, to get the BMC back to work. Uh, so you know we talked the uh, OBG stuff. The feedback we're getting from the OCP a community, like a lot of people, they need the, the uh, 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 VGA port when they're doing their, their job. They like to see the term on the uh, VGA display, but not really on the from the uh, serial port. In that case, so you know, we take advantage of the VGA controller inside the BMC. There's a BMC, and we use a 8 speed 2500, and that guy has a, a VGA control, controller inside the chip. Then we plug. We have four uh, four servers here, right? So you know, then we plug in a lot of like max to to maxing the PCIe signal and the PCIe clock and the PCIe are 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 reset signal. Sorry about that. <laughs> and uh, so we, which means in the only at any single time there's only one socket server and uh, seeing this uh, BMC uh, the VGA controller inside the BMC as a uh, endpoint uh, device. But every time when you tune the knob or you're changing the, the buffer, uh, changing the, uh, the max, it is a hot plug event. The hot plug, uh, uh, plug event to the server itself, also to the, uh, to the BMC itself. There's a lot of something we have to uh, work out on the best level and the operating system level driver side. So that's something work uh, need uh, to, uh, to be done. But uh, on the hardware side, we put this in, uh, in place. Hopefully, we can, we can get the uh, VGA support. You can see the really beautiful, uh, gooey stuff. And uh, uh, that's a, it's a twin, twin lake cars. So you know, on these twin lake cars, and, uh, we designed uh, design with a Intel based on next generation Intel Xeon processor D. And the size is bigger. It's so because we use a 4U. And you know, then we can extend the car from a 210 by 110 to 210 by 160. And we support DDR4 DIMMs. And uh, we have one boot drive, still it's a M.2, it's a one by 22. Uh, 80, 256 uh, gigabyte uh, boot drive SSD. Also, you can see here, we have two of those uh, high speed, high uh, pr performance, and uh, two, 22 or 110 M.2 drive there on the back side. So in that gives you a lot of opportunity. You can use this uh, one socket server card in, the, in somewhere you really need the, the performance on the drive itself. And also, we leverage the bridge IC design, which means that the bridge IC is going to make the SOC agnostic. And also, with, uh, we, we can use liquid cooling on this platform. I can see there's a pump, there's a liquid, uh, there's a, a, a radiator, there's a pump there. Yeah, so it's uh, a pretty cool. We have the system, but we're not really allowed to demonstrate. Sorry about that. So that's the glitcher point. That's a flash card, you can see that's a 6M.2 drive on it. 
and the only interface is from the, the edge connector. We have six uh, by four um, a PCI link from the edge connector and from another one socket server to access them all. And uh, that's uh, basically a broad diagram. I don't, have, I don't think I have enough time to go through the, the details, but the basic thing like a BMC can access BMC can access all the powers, power uh, sensor and the uh, through and some uh, thermal uh, sensors and on, on the uh, BMC own. So which means we do not need to go to another controller to do that. And uh, very simple, we have six M.2. There's uh, some buffers in the, for the uh, clock and the PCIe uh, reset you know, for, the, for those guys. And the uh, Queen Flat is a device carry card. So which means in, with that card, it can plug into our platform. But meanwhile, we can use a standard uh, full height, half length PCIe card. And uh, that's open up a lot of opportunities. You can reconfigure your system to be the one you really want to uh, use. And uh, that's a block diagram, but I don't think I had, uh, have time to go through them all. Uh, that's a, a direct view. That's our uh, V2 because we go for you in the first slide per, per row. So the, the maximum can support is uh, 30, 32 uh, slides. But it's up to your uh, s thermal and the uh, power. Because when we're talking about like, up to 600 watt per, 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 uh, per slide, it's hard to, come to put them all, all, all them in if your power is limited. Yeah, I'm done. Thank you. Any questions? Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.